Hey guys, and welcome back to the Gerbil Vine. You guys supporting the channel really means a lot to the Gerbils and I, so thank you to all of our returning subscribers, and if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today's topic is going to be proper sized wheels for gerbils. Now, this topic varies depending on who you are talking to, but the general consensus in the gerbil community is that gerbils need a minimum of an 8 inch wheel. Anything smaller than that would be completely unsuitable for them to use. If you consider that a gerbil's um, full body length, not including the tail, is around 4 inches, they are quite long. So having a proper sized wheel is very, very important as it provides them with entertainment and exercise. Um, I have two gerbils named Jerry and Dusk, and Jerry likes to run in his wheel a lot more than Dusk does, so he is a bit more slim than his brother. Um, so a exercise wheel is a great way to make sure that your gerbils get moving. If your wheel is too small, your gerbils won't be able to run on it and it can actually do a great deal of harm to your gerbil if they are in fact able to use it somewhat. If your wheel is too small, it means that the gerbil is not able to run flat in the wheel, forcing their bodies to curve to the shape of the wheel, leading to spine and organ damage. Now while I am not proud of this fact, I did start out with the 6.5 inch KT Silent Spinner Wheel, um, but as soon as I got that wheel home, I noticed immediately that it was completely too small for the gerbils. I mean, they were barely able to use it and they were like, two months old at the time. So I quickly upgraded them to the 9 inch silent runner wheel from Exotic Nutrition and it's been absolutely fantastic. I don't have a single complaint about that wheel. Um, so it's really great for gerbils. It comes in the 9 inch size. Um, it also comes in a 12 inch size. So yeah, that wheel had worked really, really amazing for the past year. My gerbils are over a year old now, and I do believe that they have begun to outgrow the wheel. I noticed that they weren't using it for as long as they previously had been. Hi, Jerry. What you doing back there? What you doing back there? Just hanging out. <laughs> So I did notice that they weren't using it for as long or they weren't using it as much as they had um, previously been using it. So I thought that it was time to get them a bigger wheel. They also, while they were running flat in the wheel, it just looked like they had gotten too long. Um, if that makes sense, like the nose, their nose was almost touching um, the plastic bit in front of them. Uh, so I thought it was time to upgrade them. So I did end up getting the 11 inch Woden wheel. And I absolutely love this wheel even more. Um, it's in my tank in the back there. Um, but it is absolutely massive. Don't let him do it. He's destroying it. Jerry, stop him. You're our only hope, Jerry. Stop him. Yeah, go that way. Go that way. Go get him. Stop him. Oh, is he actually listening? Oh my god. Wow, did that actually work? Jerry, you're amazing! Uh, so like I was saying, they are able to run flat and have a bit of space um, in front of them again, um, as I believe that in order for a wheel to be true to size for a gerbil, they should be able to almost like jog on the spot comfortably, and that's what the Woden wheel allows for them, um, so we all couldn't be happier with it. Now there are a ton of options out there for gerbil wheels, um, but you want to avoid any type of metal barred or metal mesh wheels. So having these types of wheels um, just aren't recommended at all. Um, they just have way too many risks associated with them. Number one being that they are a safety concern for your gerbil. So the mesh, um, even though it is very tiny, it can still cause your gerbil's paws, toes, tails, and feet to get caught in them. If the wheel is not big enough, the gerbil will also be rubbing its nose on it as it tries to run, which would be very uncomfortable. So on the metal mesh wheels, the mesh is joined together and sometimes it's not as seamlessly put together as we would like it to be, which can cause sharp metal bits to stick out and actually cut your gerbil's feet as they are running in the wheel. Bumblefoot is generally caused when an animal spends too long running on like a wire gapped surface, which leads to sores which allow bacteria to get in and cause an infection. And although they are not as prone to this issue as, say, hamsters, it's not something to completely rule out. Another issue with the metal barred or mesh wheels is that because gerbils do live in pairs or groups, um, and they're always running in and around the wheel while the other gerbil is in it, so with the metal or barred um, mesh wheels, the gerbil that's in the wheel, um, if it's running in the wheel and another gerbil runs underneath that, you actually pose risk of injury or even death to that gerbil underneath, as they can definitely get caught in those um, open spaces or even be pinned underneath the wheel. So mesh wheels are extremely outdated um, and there's been a ton of research on them being hazardous since like the early 2000s. 
Unfortunately, online and in-person pet stores are still actively selling and using these wheels, so all we can really do is to not support the sale of these wheels and not allow our gerbils to use them. So wooden wheels are a great alternative to traditional plastic wheels. Gerbils are big chewers, so it's likely that anything you put into the tank will be nibbled on, so it's up to you to decide um, what's best for your gerbils and what type of material you want to put into their tank. So wooden wheels are really great and they come in a variety of different sizes. So you do have to look closely at the description when you are buying it online because sometimes the pictures are misleading. Now before I purchased my wooden wheel I was actually super invested in getting a wooden wheel for my gerbil tank. Um, so I checked Amazon. Um, I found a 29 or centimeter or 11 inch wheel. Um, three left. Available in Canada. Ready to ship. Uh, so everything was great about that wooden wheel except for one thing and that was that it had foot grooves. Now foot grooves are not a good option for your gerbils in my opinion. Think of it like this. So it's like the gerbil constantly running on like bumpy terrain because every time they take a step their feet are just landing on those um, wooden platform ridges. So if you imagine running on something like that, it would be extremely uncomfortable as your hands would be like forced down in weird and uncomfortable angles. I know sometimes it's to get, they put them in the wheel to give the gerbil more grip, um, but they're so like closely spaced together that it really doesn't do much for the gerbil in sense of grip at all. Um, it just does more harm. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, I do believe that gerbils should have access to a flat, smooth running surface, which is why I didn't end up going with that wooden wheel, and which is why I ended up with the huge black plastic wooden wheel, um, but that's okay with us. As much as I wanted to buy the wood wheel, um, I just couldn't do it. It's not worth sacrificing or compromising the gerbil's comfort. Now, speaking of plastic wheels, one of the wonderful things about them is that some of them actually do come with a guard. Not all of them have this, but the ones that I've seen from Exotic Nutrition, uh, like the Silent Runner and the Wodent Wheel, um, they do have guards on them, which I think is really awesome. It's just such a wonderful feature, as the plastic is basically a front cover, so while your gerbil is running in the wheel, it keeps them secure so they don't um, end up falling out of the wheel, Or and I think it's really great in the sense that their tails don't hang out of the wheel. So in conclusion, gerbils do need a minimum of an 8 inch wheel. Anything smaller is completely unsuitable for them and shouldn't be in their tank at all. If you do have a wheel smaller than an 8 inch wheel, I recommend taking that wheel out as having no wheel is better than having a wheel that is too small for them. Even if the gerbil can run in a 4, 5, 6, or a 7 inch wheel, it doesn't mean that it's something they should be actively forced to do. Never ever use metal, mesh, or barred wheels as the risks and the harm that they can do are just too high. Plastic wheels are okay as long as your gerbil is not actively chewing them, and wooden wheels with foot ridges are an unsuitable option for your gerbils. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the gerbils and I here on YouTube. You guys are the best. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and burrow down below to let us know what you guys thought of today's video. Thank you. Bye.